wanted to do something over here in Brodia. Uh, let's see, what do you have? Gold Corrupted and Training. I don't know what the difference between Training or Gold Corrupted is, so we're going to go ahead and do this today. We're not progressing as fast as I'd like them to be. And so... Okay, first let's take a look at... Yeah. Like, I think we have a pretty good range. Like, Fuwit's level 17. Um... Boucheron's level 17. Chloe is almost there. Like, Fram and Jean, I really want to get up there. Because having a... In most Fire Emblem games, my healer is the highest one. Promoting your healer is often really good because they can uh, they can open up into different, like, magic spells and things like that. Um... Was I looking at Jean? I was looking at Clan. Like, and then opening up your mages also gets the ability to heal, so that also helps out a lot as well. But, like, if we get, like... Jean, some like actual good stuff rather than these poor like monk spells and stuff like that. We're like poor monk equipment. I think we're gonna get something really good where the, he's he becomes really useful. And we're we're starting to fight promoted enemies everywhere. So we also need. It's also good. To, I'd also want to get uh, on top of promoting for that as well. Okay. So I guess training just means that there are going to be enemies like this. Ugh. Look at this. Silver axe, silver bow, silver swords, Elwind. Like, all silver weapons, and we're still using iron and stuff like that. And then we have a whole bunch of Brodian stuff up here. Like, this Mage Knight, that's a promoted unit. A mage that... It's a knight that can use magical abilities. And I like how they put... They gave this knight a silver sword. Because really, this person's magic would be higher. And yeah. And so that makes it so it's easier for... It's easier for us to deal with this in a training environment. A higher level enemy, more experience, and we'll be fine. So yeah, the enemies are getting tougher. And I want to catch up, I want to catch up with them. So we'll go with the unit selection. I'll look at the people I want to level up. I do want to level up Kaloe. I do want to level up Lapis. Um, I do want... I want to level up Fram. I want to level up Clan. Jean probably as well. I'd like it if we could do Etie. Oh, we could have 10 units this time? That'll be really good. Um, Alkris would be good. And I think that's... Oh, Yunaka I also want to level up as well. Everyone else I'm kind of okay not having. Oh, so... After this point, I think I'd want to take Louis because he's almost there. And we'll take Alfred because he's, oh, he's almost there as well. Okay, so what we have is we have a lot of weak units. And we're going to have a, a, a relentless assault from all of our from all of our enemies here. So we need to be ready to take out everybody. But luckily what we're going to do is we're going to give our equipped folks powerful rings. Like Yunaka, I think let's see. Lapis is probably our weakest person. Her attack is 24. Yunaka's is 20. So with Yunaka, we will give her... Um, Tiki's ring. Tiki, let's go! That'll also up her stats and up her level ups. Um, let's see, who else is using a powerful ring? Nobody? Uh, Etier is using Lin, which is probably pretty good. And Fram doesn't really need one. Alcris has never really needed one. But we can maybe give him something a bit better. Like, say, that Golden Chris ring with extra strength. Okay. 
So we're gonna save right here because these type of battles, I don't think I'm guaranteed to win anything close. So, and I'm going here pretty underpowered. So I, I need to be, I just gotta be super careful. And I think the thing I need to, I'm more worried about, oh, he has a tomahawk. Good thing I looked at that. So my first move is I'm going to take out these two folks. And then I'm going to have to deal with these three people. And I have to, I'm basically going to be, you have a spear. Okay. I'm, I, I'm assuming that everyone is going to move my direction. And so we're kind of going to have to redeploy and re-navigate and kind of stay around in this corner, I think, in order to handle the the many things that we're that we're gonna be dealing with. Okay, we're gonna move Alchris up here. I think it might be good to, you know, they have Elrond, which is not good. Once we take care of those two mages though, I think we're gonna be fine in terms of magic. Yeah, because you have El Thunder, which is powerful and rangeful, but not fast. And then we're just gonna have lots of knights. Okay, we have a Rider's Bane on Louie, don't we? We do. You have a Killer Lance. You also have an Iron Lance plus four, which is going to be pretty good. So we got a pretty good wall in Alfred and Louie. So as long as we're taking on one group of enemies at a time, we should be roughly okay. Okay, and we're going to move in here. And I think this is how we're going to start it. All right, we could change our music. Well, that's not something I've looked at yet. So, action skip. Oh, here we go. Music. I think I heard that in a Star Wars game once. Royal confidence? Shaken royal confidence. It's kind of neat. And that's the enemy phase music that plays. It sounds a little weird. And that's the corrupted battle music. I liked the Bridget Sandstorm music so far. And that's the sad one as as our bond rings were elsewhere. Okay. Let's go with un some unshaken royal confidence. I think that's good. And then during battle music, what do you want to listen to? Let's I think we'll just keep it keep it normal setting. Did we not apply that? Or is that the music that we were already listening to? <laughs> I think it was. Your orders, please. Alright. So goal number one, defeat this person. Not quite what we need to hit. Actually, we could get a level with. I'll do it. Ooh. That puts you in the range of the knife guy? With 26, and your speed being 13. All right, well, your speed's 18 with that. That actually makes it durable, but a seven with a 26 attack, that's 19 damage, and you're just gonna get hit, even with a 51 red uh, avoid. That's like an 80% chance to hit. I think we'll bring them up to heal. Off I go. Not in range to heal, but they can heal next turn, I suppose. Okay, so let's go ahead and 
Let's go ahead and start here. For Brodia. I'll apologize later. Good job, Alchrist. We can soften this part up by using a longbow here. What's your guys' speed? 15, 2, and 9. A 13 should be sufficient for our defense. Says if you get able to chain attack, they'll do. Yeah. That's a good ability. And then we'll move him right here. And he has his Iron Lance plus one. That leaves only him open to attack. So that's 25. Seven. That's still a lot of damage. I'm ready. But luckily, we have... Hmm. Forgot. Alfred is slow. But still, that's going to be a better hit. And then Alfred's going to also get hit by this guy once. So it's not going to be perfect. And we can't really chain guard him without... Yeah, we can't really chain guard him without putting him in the ring. Putting him in danger of this person right here. I think we're just going to. We're going to move you up here. Say the word. You want someone low level to take. That is the Bond Fragment for As your experience. Okay. I'm a bit worried about this. Because Alfred's gonna get hit again. Oh, I forgot about the tomahawk. Yeah. The flowers been cut. Not a good start. Yes. And there's a lot of units to deal with. Crystal back here. And we're gonna go back to here. That means we're gonna have to take the hit with Lapis. Because the arrow and that is it it's not gonna hurt him very much. Instead, um, I'm just looking at the ranges because it, it pretty closely mimics this. Okay, so Yunaka has a res of 10. They have attack of 23. But I can hit twice. So this seems like a good move to get some damage in on her. And then I can't really get into a good move where I 
just get the knight. So I'll sit here. Try this again. So Lapis should get hurt, but nice. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, they're gonna attack Louie with the with the follow-up system. Silver. That's gonna be helpful for taking him out of range. Which I have a mage for. Okay, and all the units move. So many units. I'm a little nervous. units, and I'm not in a good position to deal with all of these. my options right now, what I have available. I have Astra Storm, and Astra Storm should be able to do kill any one of these Pegasus Knights that I don't like. I only really have one of those. And I'm just, my mage isn't really in range, clan is really isn't in range of any of my good folks here. I'm just not in a good position. Emblem, engage! And if I do a noble right here, I can break and defeat this guy. That's actually good news. I don't defeat him off the top there. And I can do decent a decent chunk of damage here. Okay. So how much damage can I do to this punk? Handle with care. Commit to if I commit to going upward. I need a more tanky unit down here to take damage. But I can't have that be. I guess I could have that be Alfred. But 
but none of the bow options here are good enough. Because I'm going to be one away from something. And I... And I have to deal with this with this guy too. Um, I might have to use another reset here. Emblem, engage. I was really hoping for a better position up here. A defense of 17 also isn't going to be... I guess it's good enough for those folks. Like, these guys, not so great. I mean, what's their move? Like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So... I think my option is... How much damage do you do? Kill me one hit. You almost kill me one hit. And then you probably hit less than that. Slightly. Okay. So who am I worried about? I'm worried about these folks. gonna take too much damage everywhere else I think to move that's not gonna make holding here worth it and you don't have it I mean crit again for me I guess Definitely take a hit from that guy. And then I could wall up here with Alfred. Okay, friend, how much damage can you do here? Eight with a break. So. That's a lot better. But then I could finish off here as well. Well, I could. Okay. So, what can I do? Like, this guy is the guy I'm most worried about because he can poison, and that's just going to hurt a lot. Can I Astro Storm him? Uh, not effectively. And I can't defeat you on your own either. have a good weapon against him. What if I... Emblem, engage! Yeah. 
two engages or two resets already, maybe. And then, but what if we have a hammer? That'll take care of that. You'll get no sympathy from me. Oop, get no sympathy from me. That's a nice quote. And good level up with strength and defense. Excellent, excellent. Okay, now we just gotta take out this punk. Good, clear kill with this. So I'm gonna try a killing edge and we'll see what happens. Not what I needed. Not what I needed at all. It's gonna force me to use this. I'll help. Looks like I broke him. Speed taker will be good. That is way too much. Only one person can hit you, right? You have a speed of 14. So that's 26 twice is... Uh, not great. Yeah, I think this is going to be a reset. I don't really have any other options. Is my evade? High at least with uh, just playing Yunaka. No, it's still better with uh, still better with Tiki Dragon. Um, okay. Uh, well, we'll just try this. We'll do uh, Fire Breath. We're just gonna have to move back here and hope that I don't die. But I most likely will. Um, honestly, a javelin on you is not gonna be the worst thing in the world. So let's see what happens. We'll see who dies. I'm not hopeful. Please stop! Yeah, it's fine. I really am worthless. No. Oh. I knew I would disappoint everyone. I should just get up. No, don't say that. Don't you say that. This is my fault. I disappointed everyone. 
Oh my gosh. There's just so many of them. Alright. Reset number two. How many times do I have this? I have nine charges left. Okay. Okay. So this is what we started with. And then we moved everybody... I think my pro my biggest mistake was moving Yunaka over here. Killing the mage was the right move. I think that this is where I need to be. I really like that crit was really lucky though. And if I move, I, I would like to move him to a different location so he has a, a, a better angle on that knight, but I'm not going to. And then having Etia, look at we'll go here. We'll start very close to the beginning. This isn't so bad. We're gonna push a little bit harder. Let's hope so. Let's hope the third time is the charm. Okay, so... Actually, you took on this cavalry... Pr no, no we, we can't divide our forces. We divide our forces and we're going to lose. To worry about you so that we don't put you in range of anything like bad. in range of everybody still? Yeah, that's not going to be good because you're going to get broken. Ugh. That's enough at least to... survive two hits. That's a 50% chance that that person hits. Less so if it's a, a tomahawk. I, I feel bad. This is where my arches were before. Yeah. That's 14 damage, but we might get some... We'll try baiting that direction. I think this is going to be the same thing. We'll do Iron Sword for the extra avoid. I won't let this go to my head.
We will try putting... Because it's like, what, 17? But you hit that, like, that's 11, that's 7. Oh, that's tw 7 twice. So that's 11, that's 14, and then that that's just going to destroy him too. Although, if he's right here, no, he can still get hit by all three. We're going to see what we can bait out. But now I have a worry that Lapis is going to get killed. And this Tomahawk would have one shot for a friend. 15? That's like 17. It wouldn't one shot Pram, would it? We're gonna do that. We're gonna chain guard as well. Can we double chain guard? Alright. That should keep us alive? And then we're just going to keep pushing everyone back in that corner. Oh, perfect. That is going to be good. We're going to get that good Louis level up. The archer is going to barely touch Louis. And... Yes! That worked out perfectly. And then this is gonna happen. So now the goal is changed. Because we can take out this armor knight fairly easily. We just have to worry about damage. We gotta worry about this. So we got, we're gonna have to wall up. And we can determine the best place for a wall after this turn, I think. Um, Alchus is, this is about as far as Alchus can go. And he can't do any damage, but let's do some chip, I guess. Here! Can go like this. We can engage. Emblem, engage. And we can take out this flyer in front. I think that's probably a good move. Because it's not like the killer bow is going to do us any good on the distance. So we will do, yeah. As if I lose. I need to get stronger until no one can beat me. Go focus. Uh, we're gonna put him right here because he can one shot this knight with Hellfire now. Thank you, chip damage, actually. Sort of like that, maybe?
The real problem now is can we defeat this guy in one turn? My guess is no. But this is a portion... But the people that we can defeat... People we can use is, is basically a portion of our wall. Because Louie needs is gonna have to step up here. If we do that, that gives us a safer zone. If we engage, can we defeat? What Can. That's what we'll do. Look what you made me do. I'm getting sleepy. hit by a dagger, which is 26 against your 12. That's 14, 14. You're dead. My muscles are yours. I'd love to just defeat him this turn, but that leaves Alfred too exposed. Okay, we're gonna trade him so that he hits a bit fast. Oh, he, he's as fast as he can go. 14? And he's still gonna get doubled! This isn't going to do us any good. That blocks Fran from being attacked. How does it let Fran be attacked? Oh no, because of the of this range. So she'll actually be fine here. Okay, well, that's it. Here it goes. Alcris is going to die for a second time. Oh, we're gonna get hit by the Elwind. What? <laughs> yeah, the second time we're gonna get killed by it. I really am worthless. 
I'm beginning to think I don't have enough st a strong enough unit to handle this. I knew I would disappoint everyone. I should just get out of the way for now. I successfully yeah. got it so I can have him kill two units this turn instead. <laughs> I won't be much use in this state. I'd better head to the rear lines to rest. Those don't sound like death quotes. That sounds a little bit weird to me. Uh, Saber Force, I think you're there. Do you mind doing a quick search to see if uh, in training battles if I actually lose my units for good? Yeah, there's no way I can do this. I tried. I gave it a good college try. But I just do not have the momentum. There is there's so many units. Thank you, Saber Force. Um gonna see what we can do. Like we're just not doing enough damage. These units I well, I mean I'm trying to train up units that I have I really haven't used. So it makes sense that it's not working as well as I hoped it would. plan at this point is just to pull everyone back behind the dragon and maybe give a revival stone uh they die forever okay Okay. Well, I'm not convinced that we're going to be able to do this. We're not going to be able to do this. Even if I go back in time here, right? We go back to the very, very beginning. Like, we take a look here. We can barely take care of this group of units. We can't even take care of this group of units. Like, if we move over here... We can't take enough hits for, uh, from these people. Like, this mage is going to hit with 23. 
even if we had Louis in a good position to take care of that, he would take 44 damage, which would kill him. So, like, this mage or this mage has to die. And this is the only mage that, we, that we've got people in position I'm at 100%. And if we went in hard right here, yeah, because I think we went in with here and then we finished him off with, uh, we finished him off with the Lance here. Which leaves her in position to get attacked again. But even then, we'd have to turn around and, like, we have all these folks coming at us. And this knife person is just killing. So we're going to go ahead we're going to go to title screen. We're just going to restart from our save from the battle screen and we're just going to move back. And we'll just move on with the story.